Um, yep, this is the map. Oh, guys. Oh, I'm up huge. Manos clothes have a pity system for enhancing. I am logging in and getting pen hunting clothes. This game. I don't even care. We're in, boys. Yep. Inven has it before the actual company does. Actually wild. And y'all wonder why no one wants to use your forums. Okay. Ancient Anvil. The Ancient Anvil system was updated today through the Black Desert Research Institute. Now, if enhancing fails, Essence of Agris is accumulated one by one in the equipment. And when the specified number is accumulated, the Ancient Anvil is activated and 100% enhancement is possible. Yes, that's right. To define it in a more familiar way, Ancient Anvil is a type of confirmed. Uh, so this is like the pity enhancement style system. To summarize the system first, if you fail while trying to upgrade your equipment, the essence of Agris is accumulated in the corresponding equipment enhancement grade. And if the uh, if the essence is accumulated as much as the specified number in the same equipment grade, 100% uh, reinforcement is achieved. That means you're 100% guaranteed success after a certain number of fails. Basically, essence is stored in equipment enhancement grade. All accessories are applied individually. Weapons and armors are grouped into designated groups. So you can fail on a different armor and then put the real armor that you want in there. Um, wow. So you can put all three dead gods in there, for example, and it'll it'll keep stacking that. For example, if you try to strengthen a Tet Debreka necklace, one essence will be accumulated. If you fail the Tet Debo several times and accumulate the specified number of times, the enhancement will succeed at 100%. Accessories including the Debreka have a structure in which the essence is accumulated individually, meaning you cannot change from a ring to a necklace. Okay, so if you stack on Debo rings, it's going to stay on Debo rings. The Debo ring, the Debo necklace, the Debo earring, and the Debo belt are all going to be different. Um, even if the enhancements fails, for example, if you fail from Tet level to a Tri level, uh, and then go back to Tet level, the previous essence of Agris will remain the same. Okay, so like, in order to get the essence, um, if you intend, uh, I think that's what this means, guys, is if you enhance for Tet, and it fails, and then it downgrades, and then it goes back, and then you try to enhance for Tet again, it will keep stacking your fail stack for Tet until you get Tet. I think that's what that means. Um, okay. Unlike accessories, weapon and armors um, are grouped together. As long as the enhancement level is the same, the number of essences will be maintained, even if you change from a Black Star Longsword to a Black Star Greatsword. Okay. Makes sense. Um, please check the description below for details on available equipment required number of essences and weapon and armor information for the equipment I really want and to engrave my name on the equipment. Um, the ancient anvil is rather than adjusting the difficulty of, of enhancing is to help adventurers who are frustrated. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this may be very welcome for news for some adventurers, but I think there will be many people who are worried. Um, however, we have decided that this is a necessary system for us to enjoy black desert so that we can release our game in China and make more money. Um, okay, so here's the anvil system. Um, right here, first looks, boys. Um, this is what the, the fail stacks look like right here in the top right. And you can see it fails, but then it's automatically 100% chance of success the next time you attempt it. I am curious if there's a limit on the fail stack. Um, yeah, so it looks like Pen Black Star, if you fail 40 times, you're guaranteed to click it on the 40th click keep in mind guys they said that enhancements are going to go back retroact retroactively until january 1st 2024 so if you failed pen black star 40 times already in 2024 first of all thoughts and prayers second of all you're about to get a pen black star um yeah wow okay yeah, and you can see that if you trade the different black stars out, you can see he's trading out the offhand and the main hand, and it's the same 
uh, thing for armors and weapons like this. So this is good. Uh, within the same group. Okay. White, uh, white epin weapons, white armor. Green weapons, green armor. Blue weapons, blue armor. Uh, blue grade life tools. Uh, blue grade... I wonder if this goes for Manos too. I wonder if this goes for Manos. Yellow grade weapon, yellow grade armor. Yellow grade dragon slayer weapon. Who? LOL. Um, yellow grade Catan's weapon. Yellow grade Sandstorm, Cliff, Trinon. Um, and the orange grade daily life tools. So it does include Manos life tools at least. But they didn't say anything about Manos accessories. Um, this is definitely... This is Manos life tools. That's what this is. So if you fail on your butcher knife or your gathering hoe. Um, strengthening attempt phase. Oh, wow. Is it the same for all? For everyone? Oh! No, I get it. Okay, so this is all of, like, the yellow grade and then the mano stuff. Um, if you're enhancing for Tet, or if you're enhancing Pen, it looks like you need to do 35 attempts to get it guaranteed. 12, 8, 7, 5, uh, respectively, for uh, Tet, Tri, Duo, and Pry. It looks like uh, Tet actually means Pen. Um, in this case, like when it's at Tet, to, in order to get it to pen, you have to fail sack 35 times. For Black Star weapon and armor, yes, that's exactly what it means. It looks like if you want to tap a pen Black Star, if you fail 40 times, you're guaranteed your pen Black Star. For try, if you fail 25 times in a row, LOL, um, you can get that. I'm curious if the fail stats are zero, if it still accumulates stats. You know? I'm, cu I'm curious if there's like a limit on the fail stack if the agorist is going to apply. But we'll see. Um, this looks like... This is the god-eyed weapons, so... Oh, wow. God-eyed's actually harder. God-eyed, you actually need 20 to get plus pry, 25 to get duo, 30 to get try, 40 to get tet, and 50 to get your pen godder. So keep in mind, guys, at each level of Godder, you need to fail another 40 times. Then you need to fail another 50 times. Yeah, but it's half the Cron Stones. I get that. But also, at each step, you're you're, you're failing a lot of times. Oof. Um, let's look at Fallen God here. This is ancient Fallen God weapons and armors. Oh, my God. Uh, if you were wondering if there was a pity system for Pen Fallen God, there absolutely is. It's a thousand attempts. For pen fallen god and you will guarantee your pen fallen god that's actually gear that's actually crazy that makes it obtainable i'm not joking guys when i say that that actually makes pen fallen god obtainable um for like the super degenerates guys just don't touch grass for the next six years don't look at a woman okay you're not allowed to see uh people of the opposite sex uh for the next four years you can make this happen for yourself um it looks like the Nar wow, there's Naru, guaranteed Naru uh as well. So there's no more failing on your Naru until it's like until it just like dies. You won't run out of Naru durability for those like four adventurers that had it run out of durability. That's crazy. Um this is Tuvala, which is pretty massive. If you fail for pen Tuvala eight times, it's guaranteed on the ninth attempt or on the ninth click. Um it's seven for Tet. Six for try. Well, try is guaranteed, so I don't know why they did that. Um, wow, that's that's pretty cool. Tuvala accessories. Uh, looks like you can fail pen, Tuvala necklace, or belt, or ring, or, or earring up to seven times, and then it will be guaranteed on the eighth attempt, guys. Um, six for Tet, five for try, five for duo, and four for pry. Applied individually, yes. So, guys, if you... If you fail stack your way all the way up to Tet, and then you fail, and then you fail stack all the way up again, and then you fail, that's still two attempts for Tet. I mean, for Pen. Um, each time. So, like, it will, it should maintain the number of attempts that you've done. Also, we will have less people lying about the number of attempts it has taken them on particular clothing. I, I, we all have that friend that constantly live failed Pen Blackstar 185 times. Shut up. Kevin. Oh my god, Kevin. God. Um, Kaposha accessories. Okay, so Kaposha will also be guaranteed. Yes, this is the pity system. Uh, if you want to pen Kaposha, if you fail 20 times, if you fail uh, for pen, 10 times for Tet, 
Seven for try, five for duo, three for try. Nobody cares though, because you, you only do guaranteed kabooshes anyway. Um, oh my God, there are, there are Manos accessories. Oh my God, I get my guaranteed 10 Manos. All right, I get a guaranteed 10 Manos. I'm gaming. Okay, so Manos accessories are on the list. If you have failed 40 times for pen Manos accessories, you are guaranteed to get a pen Manos accessory. If you failed 14 times for Tet, you're guaranteed a Tet. If you're guaranteed, if, if you fail seven times for Try, you're guaranteed to Try. Five for Duo, three for Pry. This is massive. Um, I think I'm only at like six or seven on this current uh, attempt. So maybe we do just click it, guys. Uh, and see if it goes because now it's guaranteed. I'll see how many I'm actually at. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, honestly, Byrog is 0 for or is 1 for 80, but honestly, he's so carried on everything else that we're just going to report him anything. Anyway, uh, Azula's accessories. <laughs> Thank God they didn't forget that. Yeah, nobody cares, um, but you can get Pen Azula's with 15 fails on Azula's. Tet is 12. Try is 8. Duo is six, prize four. That's crazy. For the four people that are running the um the hardcore like BDO version, you're huge. Uh Naru, Tranan, and main quest completion accessory. Okay, so yeah, you couldn't even fail this anyway. So yeah, the main quest accessories only go up to try anyway, guys. So if you fail duo to I, I i don't know it's guaranteed so i don't know why they would do this but like whatever um but yeah the main quest accessories will only fail 10 times for try eight times for duo six for pry um silver embroidered clothes wow this is crazy wow silver embroidered craftsman's clothes so you can get plus five training clothes for example now which are absolutely massive for horse training Plus five fine trainers, horse trainers clothes are huge for horse training. Extremely difficult to get. If you fail 20 times for plus five, you get it for free. Um, 10 times for plus four, eight times for three, six times for du uh, duo, and five for pry. Yeah, and only 20 attempts. Yeah, that's pretty crazy because I've heard some nasty numbers for that. Um, yep, this is the map. Oh, guys. Oh, I'm up huge. Manos clothes have a pity system for enhancing. I am logging in and getting pen hunting clothes. Fuck this game. I don't even care. Actually, I don't know if I have... I don't know if I have 35 attempts for pen. I don't think I do. Because I can't get it to try. Um, So, like, I think I only have, like, maybe 10 or 15 attempts. I don't know. We'll find out. Um... But yeah, you, you, if you fail pin Manos close 35 times, you're guaranteed it on the 36th attempt. Um, Ted is 15, which is huge for me. Duo is 10. That's massive. So I literally hold the world record. I will convincingly hold the world record for most fails prior to Duo in the game. Keep in mind, guys, to get a Duo um, like Manos close, they're saying that eight fails. And you get a guaranteed duo. I have gone to 44 in a row. Live. On stream. I have it in a video. I now hold the the world record and I will hold it forever. That's crazy. Duo. So so if you want to hit try Manos close. The fail failures are 10 and then it's guaranteed. Ted is 15. Like I said, Pen is 35. This is massive. Okay, so here's all the different match locks in the game for hunting. Uh, uh, ship equipment. This looks like all of your boat gear as well. Wow, boat gear. I wonder if you can just do zero stacks on boat gear and just run through it. Um, will, the, will the fails reset if you success sometime? Yes. So like if you hit a Tet Manos uh, chest piece, those will reset and then you'll do your pen attempt. And then you'll just keep doing it over and over again. Your pen will stack until you get it to pen. Um, yeah, so here's the boat gear, guys. Um, plus seven is, uh, I guess trying to get to plus eight boat. Um, I guess this is, is this horse gear too? Yep. This looks like, uh, mount gear as well. 
Um, plus seven is three. I guess plus eight actually is three essence of Agris. So three attempts. Plus nine is four attempts. Plus ten is four attempts. Plus eleven because again you have, to, you have to add one. Plus eleven is wait. Is there a plus eleven? I guess this is some of it has plus eleven or uh, fifteen. I guess the sniper rifles have plus fifteen. It's weird that they they coupled these together. Okay, so pry is a joke. So if you want to get to duo, it's eight fails guaranteed. If you want to go to try, it's ten fails. If you want to go to ten, it's fifteen. If you want to go to pen, it's thirty five. This is crazy, guys. This is insane. No wonder everybody stayed up all night. This is nuts. Blue class trade equipment. Okay, so this is like your boat gear. This is like your carrot gear, guys. Um, and it looks like you're the the uh, part of the boat gear that matters is plus five onwards. So like to get plus six boat gear, you need four fails. To get plus seven boat gear, you need seven fails. To get plus eight boat gear, you need nine. And this is way better than it used to be. Oh wait. Yeah, this is the blue class trade equipment and destroyer equipment. This is like the Carrick equipment. Yeah, to get plus nine, you need 12. And to get tw uh, plus 10 gear, you need 20 fails. That's a, that's a joke. I failed like 42 times to get plus 10 on my last piece of gear. Um, this is That is that makes it way easier to get boat gear. Um, Krogdalo gear should be something like this. This should be like the Krogdalo gear, although it's roughly translated. Um, green grade boat equipment and Panoxon equipment. Um, plus seven, four. Plus eight, four attempts. Plus nine, four attempts. Plus ten, you only need to do five attempts. That's pretty standard. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. No, those aren't, those aren't really that bad. Blue class sailboat and Panoxon equipment. Wait. This must be, okay, blue class trade equipment and destroyer equipment. This is probably the Caraval and the Gallius, guys. So you need 20 attempts to guarantee your Caraval gear to plus 10. You probably won't need that. It's much easier to enhance the Caraval and the Gallius gear. This is probably the blue boat gear for your Carrick. And in order to do this, in order to get plus 7, you need 10 attempts. In order to get plus 8, or um, plus 7, you need... Plus 6, you need 10 attempts. Plus 7, you need 15 Plus 8, you need 18. Plus 9, you need 20. And for plus 10, you need 25. That's a little more like it, to be honest with you. But this is pretty massive for the boat gear uh, enjoyers in the chat. Or for the boat enjoyers in the chat. Because I'll be honest with you, enhancing your boat gear really sucks. Um, like, And now you have like a limit on the number of stones it will take to get there. Crazy, guys. So it does look like they basically covered everything. Even if you fail to strengthen... Through a Jay's hammer or Jay's hammer of precision, your Agris will accumulate. So, guys, even with the Jay's hammers, you get Agris attempts. Okay? So, when you get Jay's hammers through the ball and then the precision hammers as well, give you uh, fail stacks towards your, your stuff. Agris essence is accumulated in the same way, even when reinforcing fails without cron stones. Okay. All right, cool. The retroactive application of Agris will be applied based on enhancement attempts after um, basically the new year, January 1st, 2024, the turn of the new year. And will to everybody that enhanced just before the ball fell. <laughs> Fuck you too then. Okay. And will retroactively be applied as many times as the number of failed reinforcement attempts uh, since the last successful reinforce or enhancement. Okay. Agris Essence value, which is applied retroactively, cannot exceed the maximum value for a piece of equipment. Wow. Yeah, this is crazy, guys. Massive changes uh, for the enhancing system. Additions and improvements. Uh, performance system expansion. Note limit extend expanded from 2,000 to 10,000. Okay, so this is the music stuff, guys. Uh, now you can have 10,000 notes in your musical... Uh, ensemble instead of 2,000. Okay, yeah, whoop, yeah, shoo-woo, yeah, all right. Yield ranking. Okay. Okay, yeah, so this is all just the music updates. Guild League. 
for preparing for a regular season of guild league content prior to the re uh prior to the regular season we are checking the participation status trends play patterns and records of adventures so far based on this we plan to determine the regular season rules and rewards scaling along with additional improvements through regular maintenance next week we plan to temporarily change the number of participants in the guild league and hold a trial match looking at the indicators on the date how many guilds excluding the top guilds uh, are having difficulty gathering the maximum of 15 members and in the case of new guilds considering the difficulty of entry due to the number of participants the maximum numbers is set to 10. i'm gonna try to keep it short whoa 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 So I'm pretty sure that what this is saying is for like the newer guilds that are doing it, the maximum number of participants excluding the high tier guilds will be 10. I think that's what that means. Is there no pity system for Deborekas? There is a pity system for Deborekas. Um, they did mention it. They said it was different for every single Debo. So like you're, you can't put a Debo ring in, fail on it three times and then expect to get your necklace. Um, it's god eyed black star armor and weapons oh wow so i don't even see yeah they didn't actually talk about the debos we covered falling nod yeah they did mention debos debos will have a system but they didn't actually put debos in here oh yeah they did it's in here somewhere. I, I remember going over it. I don't I don't know. It's in here somewhere. I remember covering it. Okay. As the number of participant decreases, I think some guilds will be disappointed about the uh, the change in the scale or the aspect of battle. So they're changing the maximum number of participants for guild league to from 15 to 10. Okay, yeah, there's the this is the Debereka. Uh, 20 fails for pen. Um, so yeah, Guild League, I think Viz is going to be kind of upset about this. Um, but as the number of participants decreases, I think some guilds will be disappointed. Okay, this is a temporary change during the trial period to provide more interesting matches of having guilds participate in the Guild League content. So we're diligently preparing, um, to provide a more refined regular season based on the various data to obtain it. Okay. Okay, yeah, so Guild League is now no longer 15 people, 10 minimum. It's now 7 minimum, maximum 10. So you can do Guild League with 7 people, guys. Maximum of 10. That's a massive change. Um, uh, here's your... What? They're simplifying the traces, the fruits, and the purified items. What? Bro, that changes so many recipes in the game. That completely changes. Completely changes node worker empire setups. It completely changes uh like alchemy in general is just completely different this is massive your storages are up huge this is insane i did not ever hear them mention this but like apparently this is happening all of the traces are being condensed to trace of nature all of the fruits are being condensed to fruit of nature and all the essences are being condensed to essence of nature this completely changes everything this is insane yeah, I'm going to have to re-update my worker empire guy, guys. This is actually just huge. Alchemy craft. Yeah, so this is them changing all of the alchemy recipes. And the descriptions. Wow. That's insane. Yeah, so I'm sure that they're, they're condensing it. This is going to be absolutely massive for us, guys. Um, the repeat season special gift has been added. 
allowing you to exchange your seasonal voucher for a gift without any limit. What? This repeat seasonal gift item has been added for Fugar. I swear to God, if you can repeat Composure accessories and I have to redo my entire gear and progression guide, I'm going to be pissed. You can exchange one seasonal gift voucher for advice to the Vox 100 box. Okay, so it's just the 100 stack. It's just the 100 stack. So you can only do this for the 100 stack. Okay, that makes sense. Description of the Jay's uh, Hammer of Precision has been added to the expected deletion date. Okay. November 27, 2024. Um, so th there's some knowledge changes, guys. Quest changes. Uh, the completion goal for... Oh. The completion goal for the... Uh, Weekly training delivered Imperial Horus has been changed as follows. Okay, so now you only have to capture a horse. You don't have to deliver an Imperial Horse. Okay. UI, the positions of the crest reward and the quest details of the NPC have been improved. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Improvements have been made so that the Karagdala's nest functions can be more conveniently used when a vehicle UI. Okay. And nothing major for UI stuff, guys. Red player changes. Uh-oh. The penalty for forced player kill is set so that the penalty is not weak, such as lowering the enhancement level or destroying crystals. However, there are situations where other adventurers are continuously harassed through settings to avoid these penalties. Uh-oh. So we would like to strengthen this penalty a little more. Red players are about to take it. First of all, in the case of recovering the fallen the karma, uh, it is possible to recover very quickly under the current situation. In particular, even the character or equipment level became stronger and more monsters could be killed. The amount of karma recovery for killing monsters did not change, allowing the person to re uh, recover more quickly. Uh, oh, so they're gonna they're gonna take away your karma recovery alt. That you're, you have it like Desert Nagas or Pila Ku or whatever to get all your karma back. Can't do that anymore. You got to grind on your main. Accordingly, the efficiency of karma recovery has been reduced so that it takes longer to get your karma back. Also, in addition to this situation, there are cases where the lower limit value of the propensity is low and more force PK is performed when the value is reached. The lower limit has been expanded to prevent repeated forced PK. You can go to negative 10 million karma. And it's going to be in the value and the difficulty of getting the karma back is one fifth of what it was before. So instead of taking you an hour to get a million karma back, guys, it would take you five hours to get one million karma back. And you can go to negative 10 million. Down with the PvPers! Down with the PvPers! Oh my god, dude. Negative 10 million. This is... This is a 25 hour... This is a 20 to 25 hour enterprise. Based on what they're saying here. Guys, that's actually a super substantial change. They are punishing you really hard for flagging on people in the open world. However, if the previously acquired propensity value is lower than 4, you can obtain at least a propensity value of 1. Yeah, so instead of getting like... If you were getting 4 karma back before, now you're only getting 1. But typically it's a fifth of what you were getting before across all monster zones. So, it's going to take 5 times as long to get your karma back, guys. I need to go grind a little bit. Uh, look, look, some stuff happened. This guy was following me around. It's not my fault, okay? Why don't they just disable Alt-C? Well, they're not technically disabling it. Technically. Changes and fixes. Draconia, an issue where the skill cooldown of the skill guide was not displayed properly under certain circumstances has been fixed. The issue where it's possible to abnormally ride a, a mount in the water under certain circumstances has been fixed. Thank you so much, Rapalus. Um, the appearance of a certain thatched huts in the country of the morning has been modified to look more natural. Okay, nothing major crazy here. 
and that is the global lab patch notes guys some massive changes the pity system is probably one of the biggest quality of life updates the game has received in many many years um so definitely a lot of people excited about that then the trace um uh trace condensing is absolutely massive as well and then the karma changes are really 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 tough karma changes uh for a lot of players out there um that are thinking about flagging on enemy players but yeah guys that's the global lab patch notes for the week there